Good morning. It is 10.15 a.m. on December the 29th, 2018. I'm doing this video from my home in Salem, Indiana. I've just been uh, looking at um, this power outage in Kenner, Louisiana, because this video has gone viral that was shared by um, Giovanni Bermato, and I don't know if you have seen this yet, but... Um, all of a sudden, these power lines, they're catching fire. Oh, oh, there's some. And you know, you can see the original video on his page right there. It. But it looks like, um, it looks like the, uh, this energy, like an uh, energy weapon is coming down and blowing up all these power lines, okay? This is what it looks like right here. In Kenner, Louisiana. And it looks like, to me, it looks like a um, an EMP traveling through, an EMP, I'm sorry if I have a shadow on here, an EMP traveling through the uh, area. But I want you to pay close attention when we get up here. This, a cloud is illuminated and it looks like a UFO that gets up there right there, a cloud. I can't, I can't position this that well. But you are just wait and see. You'll see the cloud up here in the sky as these uh, power starts to blow. Okay, a cloud's gonna appear right there. This is where the cloud appears, right there. Okay, this is not a, uh, that's not a normal cloud right there that appears, that you see, it's not. It literally transforms, and it looks like it is a UFO that is up there in the sky. That's what it looks like, a UFO in the sky. I can't stop my laptop from showing um, people popping up on it. I can't, but, but wait a minute. Okay, yeah, but it clearly looks like there is a UFO flying up there in the sky. I'll just play the rest of the video. Hopefully nothing pops in on it. But yeah, you can see it as clear as day. That's not a normal cloud. And then, you know, it just goes off, goes off in the distance up there, that UFO does. Clip clipped down and isolated it. I just gotta, I just gotta figure out how to turn this thing off because I don't want it playing while I'm, I'm showing this particular clip, but it clearly looks like there is a UFO up there, right here in the sky, right here in this clip, and I don't have a good, um, I've got a glare coming right here, but I've slowed it down, and um, it clearly looks like a UFO up there in the sky during that time. If you all can see, that's not a normal cloud. That is not a normal cloud up there in the sky when these power lines are blowing out. <laughs> it's not. You can see the distinct form right there on there. A distinct form in the sky while this uh, stuff is going on up there. And it just, it even has like this like nice little ridge right there. Let me unzoom this. That is a UFO up there in the sky, and you know, I wish I had a way, if I could figure out how to put this, well, I could have put the person's video on there and put the slow down part of the video on there, but that's probably some copyright laws against that, and I don't want to do that, but up there in the sky during all of this commotion, this cloud appears because it is illuminated by the, um, this cloud appears because it's illuminated by the a light. And, th and that's what the cloud looks like. It looks like a ship right up there in the sky. A UFO ship. And this person, I'm pretty sure, is outside. I'm pretty sure he's outside because he was having adult beverages, he said. And look at that image. Does that not look like a ship? You know, it's got the rainbow signature, too, and I'm thinking, you know, it looks, it could be like one of those rainbow UFOs that we've been seeing in the sky. I see comments, but I'm trying to focus right here. 
But yeah, that's not a, a normal cloud, and it wasn't, I don't think the pixels caused that. But I slowed that down and isolated it. And that is not a normal cloud in the sky. And it keeps shape shifting until it just goes away into the sunset. Now look at that view of it also. That's not a normal cloud. Yeah, that, that is not a normal cloud, but um, I can post this clip, I guess I can. I don't know about the copyright laws, but um, you can find the original clip on this that person's timeline. But it, it looks like a UFO was involved. I don't know if it's one of our UFOs or what. But I took a lot of snapshot pictures of it. See, you can even you can even see um, like the windows. Let me get myself an ink pen. You can even see like little uh, squares right here. Up there in the sky during the time of the, um, during this um, UFO, oh, UFO, these blowing of the power, these transformers on those power lines, it's this UFO appears when it's illuminated by the light. At first I was focused on, um, yeah, the same thing happened in New York a couple of days ago. You know, and chances are, if the sky was illuminated, there'd probably be one of these UFOs up there in the sky. Now, I don't know if it's a, an enemy's UFO, but it's certainly an unidentified flying object that we are not aware of. But it is up there in the sky during this time. And this person, I'm, I'm thankful that uh, a Giovanni from Louisiana was able to, like, pan his camera around because, yeah, he caught a UFO. <laughs> That's what that is. That is a UFO up there in the sky during that time. You can even see these little black things. And I've seen this shape right here on some of the photos that we've taken. You see, it just keeps changing its shapes. I've seen this photo on some of the photos that we've taken, but I've slowed that down a great deal and isolated it so we could see that it's not an ordinary cloud up there. It is a UFO. And I'm just gonna move this with my finger so you can see it like transform up there in the sky. Like that. Only when it's illuminated by the light does the darkness, it, it is illuminated. And I just went to look at that. It's a pretty, a pretty neat shape. Um, but I can uh, probably put that video on there, but then I don't know because of a copyright laws. A uh, hello. But I, I thought that was pretty neat. I really did think that was pretty neat. That that uh, was illuminated up there. Hello, uh, Renee Butler. Yeah, you know, and our, our military is battle-hardened against uh, EMP attacks, and they've been uh, hardening their uh, hardware for quite a while just because of EMP attacks. Because, you know, all you have to do is have something flying around up there in the air, and they can just send out a signal, and poof! That thing will travel all down those power lines. Whatever kind of weapon they use, their EMP weapon. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's a that is a UFO up there in the sky during the time of these blowing of these transformers up there. Look at that! Look at that edges of that. And I'm sure other people have noticed that, but maybe they didn't, since this video is only a couple days old. Surely they've zoomed in on this in the sky, that particular spot right there that it shape-shifted. Um, good morning, Diana. You see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that EMP thing, that is real. And you know, those, uh, even if it like emanated from this right here, from that attack in Kenner, Louisiana, even if it did and em uh, emanate from that, you know, it is real. And this stuff can do a lot of damage. You know, if you're not prepared for like 
power outages. You know, it's going to take them a long time to get that power back. <laughs> Could you imagine if it was like a whole, a whole uh, town? Because it just travels all down wherever there's an electrical current. It will travel. And just think it gets past those transformers. Transformers. <laughs> Reminds me of the transformers. Transformers. And you know, I think normally they would serve as a power surge to keep it from spreading. But obviously, when you have something this big in the sky, like that, that big in the sky, I don't think it's going to stop it too much. But, um, yeah, it did have some rainbow signatures on it, and it kind of did remind me of some of the ships that we've been seeing in the sky, in the photos. But um, it definitely changes its shape right there as it travels. It really does. Until it just, like, goes out of a sight. So, but, but really, when you watch that video that uh, Giovanni posted, and you see the Transformers blowing up and the fire coming from them, and it just keeps spreading and spreading, that's kind of, that's kind of uh, <laughs> scary. It is, because, you know, this could just, just, it could be the, one of our national power grids. It would take a very powerful weapon to do that. Um at the at the moon came up yeah yeah men will faint from fear that's what it says men's heart will fail them from fear but it does remind me of um those rainbow ufos you know that we've been seeing <laughs> because when you when i uh, would i take a screenshot of it and adjust the color do you see the rainbow specifically located in a certain areas of it you do and um i tried to find a photo that was like it and i know i've got a photo of that shape in my uh photo somewhere i really do because i've seen it before and um i know this looks kind of um big or whatever but it does it looks like these uh tiny um they're not tiny they're humongous these uh these ufos like this right here that's what it looks like and see you can see it in the different the different colors i tried to uh, do different colors on this thing like that and these are the colors it had these like signatures on it all these rainbow looking colors on it and it's hard to like isolate it out but it's a uh, it's got defined shapes, it really does. It's like that. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty wicked. Yeah. Um, but oh my gosh. They need to tell you the truth. Well, you know what? People would literally panic. So we're getting a little bit of the truth. We really are a little bit of the truth. And if you're just tuning in, I'm talking about the Transformers that blew in Kenner, uh, Louisiana that uh, Giovanni posted on his uh, timeline because he was out there filming it. And this cloud appeared in the sky right here. When it was illuminated, it appeared in the sky and it's not an ordinary cloud at all. It is a UFO up there in the sky shape-shifting UFO. It kind of looks like a square board box right there. You can go back and isolate the video and see for yourself. But yeah, this is what um, appeared in the sky. This UFO and it, oh, I've, I've done it. I've done it now. <laughs> I've done knocked it off my laptop screen because I was trying to use my finger. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know, you hear like you hear things that, you know, the military is preparing because that's really that's where the generals, um, a lot of the generals in our mili military and the Department of Defense greatest threat was the threat of a nuclear EMP attack. But, you know, they said it would come from like a rogue state, like another country or stuff. You know, what if they meant what if that was just a <laughs> what if that was just them saying that because, you know, they could receive a, a threat from uh not of this planet, but out there in outer space. They could 
They could. They really could. And you know, it would just send us back into the dark ages. It really would. But, um... There we go, we got it back, because um, this OneDrive, I have this OneDrive, it backs up every single photo that I take, and then it sends it to my Seagate, and then, you know, then it'll go into the iCloud, but yeah, these, uh, these EMP attacks, and you know what else uh, I saw, this image right here um, that I posted, you know, right here. I got a I got a, a video link this image right here I got a video link from uh, one of my friends last night or, or in the wee hours of the morning um, from Ben Ben Sullivan I uh, thank you Ben but uh, that image that very image showed up in one of um, NASA's own images it did and if I can isolate it, if I can isolate it, yeah, yeah, I got it right here now. Here it is, right here. That same image, it showed up right down here. You can even see it there. It showed up, and this guy did a video about it. And you can go look at it right there. See this? Yeah, that is the image right there. And you know, if you want to, if you want to see that same image that I captured, that we've been viewing, that we just saw, this one right here. Um. Yeah, it is a it's a big, large UFO, and um, it's on this uh the real Jimmy Roberts website, his YouTube channel. You check it out because he's got that image right there right there on his YouTube channel right there and there is that that image right there on there so really there there is a lot of um there is a lot of uh, confirmation out there from the pictures that we've been seeing it's out there you know and people have seen them and I'm just thankful they share but uh <laughs> UFOs are real they are very real and if you don't think they're real then I'm sorry then um I guess if you don't think they're real now, you'll think they're real when they land. And hopefully uh, we have some friendly UFOs out there, people who are on our side. I mean, they may not even be people. They may be from another race, but hopefully there are friendly ones out there. I have to believe that there are some friendly uh, aliens out there, UFOs out there. And uh, we are. <laughs> We're surrounded by them because they're up there in our skies. And you know that, uh, wow, that the power transformers blowing and that cloud being illuminated, you know. And it looks like a UFO. And I'm not one to, to push a fear and gloom and doom. I am not one. But you know what? You should uh, prepare yourself, you know, for anything that might happen, you know. The power could go out, you know, even in ice storms and stuff. Some people were without power for a couple weeks, depending on where you live and how widespread the, the power is, the power outages. You know, that's a just common, common sense. And, you know, it don't take much to spend a little bit of money to have some canned goods and um, some flashlights, some candles, and a little extra water on hand and a tad bit of cash, you know, to shelter in place in the event of some type of a power outage or something you never know what might happen so i would i would recommend doing that yeah i'm not going out i'm not going to say go out there and just store up um store up oodles and oodles and oodles of stuff um you just uh do what you decided in your heart to do do the preparation that you feel is necessary for you and your family don't let someone else try to tell you you know you need to prepare for this and you need to have this and this and this and this well, a lot of people live on a, a tight budget, and they can't afford that. But, yeah, there are, uh, <laughs> there are things that could happen. Anything could happen. And you want to have something on hand. 
you really do to fall back on. But um, that power transformer is blowing up. And uh, it looked like an energy base weapon coming down from the sky like that. Oh, Vanessa Summer. See, I haven't been paying too much attention to the comments. I'm sorry. Good morning, Diane uh, Nana Robbins. I just got so excited with that, um, seeing that UFO. Although, you know, it's not nice to have power transformers uh, blow up. But, you know, it is nice that they caught that on a video for people to see. Because, you know, this thing need to be spread. That, uh, the, the power transforming, the you know the lines like that blowing up and stuff you know you need to be aware but these things these things are real they are very real and um let's i can't see a giovanni's uh here we go if you go to his web page he has made it public his name is giovanni Bam bamarito and he is on facebook you know he's already got this many shares with his video and I'm just so thankful that he uh, went out there, and he did. And that was in that was in uh, Louisiana, right there. So uh, thank you, uh, Giovanni Bamarito, for going out there and filming that for everyone to see, because you know that's uh, it's good information, and we need to know when things like that occur, and we especially need to know if there's like UFOs up there in the sky at the same time. Yeah, because it's not even an ordinary cloud. Yeah, so it, it is exciting. If you have not watched his video that he has posted about these uh, transformers blowing, because they are blowing, they're just blowing all down right there. One right after the other, they're just blowing up. And it does look like an energy-directed uh, weapon, but the, it's just traveling from power line to power line, and it's just um, it's blowing up the transformers. It's like something you see out of a sci-fi movie. It really is. And <laughs> My goodness, I just can't quit looking at it. Yeah, I, I just can't. And then you have that little cloud up here. It, it's not too long of a, a video. You know, it's like um, around an, uh, two That's minutes crazy. long. But it just, I, I bet they were terrified. I really do. But you can see that cloud appearing right there. There it is. And then it just goes away. I'm sorry about that. I just got a little bit fascinated. Yeah, definitely watch it, Diana Training. It is worth watching. It really is, and it is eye-opening. You know, if you're asleep, you need to wake up. <laughs> because we've got things going on in this world. We've got uh, things like this happening, and you know... I hope that's not a taste of what is to come because uh, then we'll be in trouble. And, it, you know, it not just from, like, uh, UFOs out there. You know, we could have enemy, uh, enemy people who could have that technology and they have their ships cloaked and stuff and <laughs> they're out there flying around. Yeah, you just watched the video from the uh, television station. It is so wild. It is wild. It is. Oh. Well, Ryan Rubio, I don't know if it is the, the government doing it, you know, because there is a picture, a, a UFO, a cloud shows up in the, in the video, and it clearly takes the shape of a UFO. Now, I don't know if you can say it's one of our UFOs that are doing it or not, or if it was like an energy-based weapon that came from space, but, you know, we do have aircraft, and other countries have aircraft that they can carry their little uh, weapon in and just do a flyby, and it can send EMP, electromagnetic pulse, down through those lines and just blow them out. You got your new lens today, Diana Trainee. You know what? I got new lenses from, my daughter got me a couple from uh, Christmas, and they, they don't work. They are not bowed inward. They are not bowed inward. 
the 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 outer lens is slightly uh, bowed outward and it does not work I cannot use them and I don't know if you can find lenses that are bowed inward um, where do you find the video again you find the video um, I'm gonna put a link to his page I'm gonna share it underneath this uh, video right here when it ends but you I'm gonna show you his name is Giovanni Bamarito right there and he is on Facebook and so we're very thankful for him for taking the excuse me the video and sharing it with the world and his status he's got it he's got a public a public icon so you can share it Kenner Louisiana Giovanni Bamarito so that's where you can find it. And I think there, somebody got some footage of something in New York too. The video is gone. I know certainly that video cannot be gone. You've got to see Diana. Let's see if that video is gone. Uh, well, I don't know how I'd get that link back here if I go backwards. No, it's still on his page. It's still on his page. You just have to go directly to his page, okay? Giovanni. Yeah. I hope he doesn't mind me <laughs> showing his name on there. Well, he shared it, and um, it's public. It's public uh, information now. His last name. Wait. Let's let's spell his first name. He's such a wonderful guy. G I O V A N N I Giovanni Bo okay B as in boy O M M A R I T O from Kenner Louisiana Giovanni Abamarito yeah so yeah, I'm sure everybody's uh, sharing that video. You're you're very welcome, and you can you can look at that too. But please uh, share it in good faith, you know, <laughs> and don't be derogatory, leaving derogatory comments if you're watching this, <laughs> uh, because he just wants to get the message out too, like we all do. Yeah, but it, it was pretty exciting to watch. Um, but it could happen in your neighborhood. It could happen in my neighborhood, even though I'm out in the country. You know, we do have uh, power transformers that blow and our power is knocked out. And you know, we're so isolated out here. You know, we have to have things on hand. We have to have extra uh, canned goods and water and flashlights and batteries and candles and an alternative way to um, cook our food because we're you're, we're so far from town it's like around 30 minutes into the nearest town so if you're out in the country you're prepared to do that because you know you have things on hand but if you're in the city and everything's within walking distance um you may not have things like that on hand but it is nice to have it really is um but uh like we were saying it is it took the shape of a ufo that power transformers blowing because a, a, a cloud was in the sky and it was the shape of a UFO. You are in the country. That's good, Andrew, Andy, Andrea, Perkins, Akins. Yeah, and you know a lot of people. A lot of people are country people. You know they like to live in the country, but you know the country is not for everybody because a lot of people like to live in the city. And you know, to each their own. And it's okay. It would be hard to adapt living in the country. It would if you were a city person, and it would be hard to live in the city if you were a country person. I have a hard time, um, with, I'd have a very hard time living in the city, I would. I'd have to totally uh, adapt to a new lifestyle. Good morning, Kristen. Yes, those were blue beams and coming down from the sky. That's petty, it was, uh, it was all that, and then some. Yeah, good morning, Kristen. Uh, good morning, uh, hello, Carl. But that, that is really, um, yeah. And I know the government knows, and, you know, we all know that when something like that happens and people catch it, that we're going to share it. They all know we're going to share it, so they're going to share it too. 
and they do want us <laughs> to be prepared. They do. Um, I know there's a lot of like uh, anti-government and stuff. You know, not everybody is bad in the government. Not everybody is good, but you know, I like to think that we've got good people out there in the government. We do. We got good people out there in society. Uh, we have each other. <laughs> there may be some watching this that may not be so good, but that's okay. I'm, I'm sure they got good in there somewhere inside that heart. I like to think that. I really do. Hello, Robin. Um, hello. Yes, Maria. So, um, yeah, if you haven't had a chance, uh, I'm sure his video is on the YouTube channels also. I'm sure it's going to go extremely viral. And uh, you look for that UFO that shows up in there. Um, let me see if I can find the uh, section where it's at, if I can move it, where it shows up. Um, I'll have to uh, tap it. Well... 59 seconds, 56, 56 seconds remaining, you'll start to see the UFO. There it is up there in the sky at around 56 seconds remaining. It's not a cloud. It's a UFO up there. And you know, they could be up there and they could, they could be up there monitoring what's happening. They really could and maybe they didn't cause it. <laughs> maybe somebody else caused it. Um... Uh, thank you, Nancy York. Yeah, it is. It is crazy. It is insane, but it happened. It's live, and it is real. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we do. We have each other. Hello, oh, Regis Elo from the Caribbean. Yeah, corporations do control the government, but, you know, um, we still get information, which is good. We still get information. And I'm happy that we do still get information. I am trying to, I'm trying to get myself off of this, uh, this uh, Facebook thing so I don't hear myself talking on that laptop. Good morning, uh, Mike Azur. Good morning, Maverick John Viatar. I seen the, I haven't seen the complete video of the same thing in New York, but uh, I seen this one because it was shared, and I just so happened to pop on the. Uh, the Facebook and I saw that was the first thing that popped up. I'm gonna to have to look at the one in New York. Um, but yeah, it's pretty wild, it really is. Hello, Madeline from Sweden. Hello, Otzi da, da Poggi from the Philippines in Manila. Good morning, Edgar. Um, <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Tom Chen from Taiwan. Uh, it is, uh, thank you, Gregory. A fabulous and beautiful morning to you, too. You've seen it happen, and it showed bright blue light before it happened, yeah. And, <laughs> and you know what? We're powerless. We're on the ground. They're up there in the sky, and we don't know when these things will strike. You never know. You don't know. Sometimes there is no warning. At least with tornadoes and uh, thunderstorms, we get the uh, the sirens that, you know, blow around in the air. But things like this, I don't know if you would get a warning because it comes out of nowhere without warning. Hello, Veronica from Brazil. Uh, Silvina, Silvina Aguilar. Yeah. Yeah, that UFO could have been monitoring it, you know. Who knows, but uh, that stuff, that EMP was just traveling right down through those power lines. And then it makes you think, why do they put a lot of power lines now underground? Bury the cables. Well, I guess, you know, when you build a house, they tell you to put a big metal, a copper rod in the ground as a ground. You know, bury it so many inches deep, so many feet deep to ground it. So, uh, to keep it from, you know, having power shortages or stuff, maybe that's why they're burying our cables in the ground to <laughs> protect them also. Good morning, Marcia Crawford-McGunry. 
Oh well. If a lot of th if a lot of things like this happen in 2019, we're in for it. <laughs> we're in for a big roller coaster ride. We are. A yes, Jen, in a New York also. Um, good morning, Rita. Uh, <laughs> I'm about running out of words to say. Oh, I am, but it's, it's really cold here. Yesterday, it was a very, very nice day, and um, I did get outside and do some things, but today, it's cold. It's like a 30 or 40 degrees colder today. Good morning, Ed, Ed, Edgar de la Garza, and you know, I have been taking pictures of the sky. I, I took some last night, and I took some this morning. And you know what I'm seeing in the sky. I haven't posted any because um, there's so many of those up there now. Great big giant motherships in the sky. Just like that. And there's hardly any ships. And the ships that I am seeing, the ships that I am seeing uh, up there that are predominant are the rainbow looking uh, ships up there in the sky. That's the ones that are predominant. But there's a lot of those big disks up there in the sky. And, you know, we had all those smaller UFO ships. We did. We had all those smaller ships. And, you know, they're about this big. We had them for a long time covering the whole sky. And now you got these great big ones that are showing back up. And I'll, I'll try to uh, post that. Um... Um, yeah, uh, Tweety Me Smith, the old ways are very, it's a very hard, hard life to live, especially if you're not used to it, and we're so technology, technical, <laughs> uh, we're so tied to technology, the younger generation, and you know, the middle age generation, technology plays an important role in people's life, and it's a, we're just tied down by it. And we're forgetting things that we need to remember, but that's okay. Uh, we'll we'll make do with what we we do know. We'll do our best to survive. Oh, Giovanni's last name again. I think it's a uh, Baram. I'm gonna try to. Um, I gotta try to type it in again. G. I O V A D A. Uh, I don't know if I can find it again. Bear, I closed down my laptop. I can't remember it. <laughs> that that's not good because I I did um. I closed down my laptop, and I don't know if I can um, find it again. Hmm. Okay, I might be able to find it on someone else's page um, to spell it to you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to it, okay? Oh no, that's the TV channel, the TV channel page. The TV channel picked it up. But um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna click to his page again, okay? Because his videos, it's just gonna be all over the place. Here it is again. Giovanni Bamarito. G-I-O-V-A-N-N-I. B as in boy. O M M A R I T O. Giovanni Bamarito. That's the original video right there in uh, Louisiana, Kenner, Louisiana. So if you wanted to watch that transformer blowing, you can go to his webpage or you could probably type it down on the YouTube search. 
uh, there, that was an alien entity, and when the alien ship appeared in the sky, it went up to it to the left, and they towed it. That's enough, and they got they get the message. Um, in one of the pictures that I took, um, there was um, there was something small beneath it. There really was something small beneath um, one of these pictures, like an uh, oblong shape of an entity. And I, I can't, I can't find it on here. But yeah, you can you study that yourself. Yeah, I'm going to show you right here. Right down here, you see this right here. This right here, this appeared for a brief second right below that object up there in the sky. For a brief second, it appeared, and then it was no more. So, I don't know, that could have been a capsule and it went back up into the ship. <laughs> it could have. It really could have. Hello, Abintang Hati. Yeah, last night also, Belinda Eckert. So, I thought there was like another, um, another, uh, a day that also in New York that the Transformer blew, but it was also in, uh, last night yeah it could be a long cigar thing but you know um, this stuff is wild and crazy it is wild and crazy just look at that that is not a ship I mean that's not a cloud that is a UFO up there in the sky and it, it changed shapes on us is what it did it changed the shape up there and I just I was just messing with the color because you know it just it took just um, took on certain forms is what it did like that down there but that's kind of blurry but yeah it took on certain forms that UFO did the long cigar yeah they they are up there and they are real too because there are so many uh, people catching them um, I don't want to, well, I've got this enormous screen up here. <laughs> I didn't exit. Um, good video on YouTube for the lights above New York City. That's good. Um, I, need to, I need to get out of this, this screen right here is what I, I need to get out of. I just, I have these up here. So many of these up here. Um, I'm just going to close those pictures down. I just did. I just closed myself out of the Facebook. You live in a city called uh, Siranavaka, about 30 minutes from here, and there is another city called Ati uh, Tepozitian. You can see many UFOs. They're mystical cities in Mexico and beautiful places. Um, that's wonderful. It really is. Um, Well, I'm probably going to end this video, but I did, I just wanted to, uh, let you all know about that, uh, that, uh, transformer blowing in, uh, Kenner, Louisiana, and also they say that there is something happened in New York. Uh, you can get the video of that also. But again, uh, it's this video right here that was posted on this man's time page, timeline. And, uh, yeah, these, these transformers, they just blowing up left and right. They just went on the, up through there blowing up. And it does look like a blue beam came down from the sky, and I got it. Got the transformers. And you can see a UFO up here, right here in the sky. It's not a cloud, it's a UFO. during this whole process and it, it sounds like lightning like a big old thunderstorm happening but um, it started right there is where it started 
and it just it just kept going in different places you know um i'm sure they were taken aback doesn't that look like big old uh, beams coming down or it's the light that's uh going up into the sky because of it it's wicked yeah a chain reaction but uh, if you haven't checked out the video, check it out and then look for that uh, UFO looking cloud up there in the sky. Um, you're very welcome, Gregory Hernandez. I'm going to go for now. I've got things I'm going to do. <laughs> I am. Um, so, um, thank you all for tuning in. And... Uh, if you get a chance, you know, get you a couple extra cans cans of canned goods and a little, like a bottle of water or something. It don't cost much. At least you'll have that on hand if, you know, if your your power goes out and it is the cold months of the year. Um, yeah, it would be nice to have just a tad bit of stuff on hand. Whatever you feel, you know, within your, within your heart that you should uh, do. Yeah. Don't be like the people who say, well, I need to get something, and then you just keep putting it up, putting it up, putting it up. Just go out and get a little bit of something. Yeah, and then you feel a little bit better if something does happen. Like maybe a big old snowstorm, ice storm, and <laughs> hopefully not um, blowing transformers. Okay. Um, thank you, Frederick. Uh, you're welcome, Diane. Uh, thank you, Asti uh, Triplet. But um, I hope you all have a good rest of your day.